What if I told you something the size of a mountain just vanished behind the sun? Right after sending a signal straight at Earth? Stay with me because what happens next will blow your mind. Imagine this, out in the vast expanse of space, a message arrives, one that no human has ever seen or heard before. It's the early hours of October 17, 2025, deep in the California desert, when NASA's Deep Space Network suddenly picks up something extraordinary. It's not random noise. It's not cosmic static. If you're captivated by the mystery of Three Eye Atlas and want to see more mind-bending cosmic stories, smash that like button and let the universe know you are watching every click helps keep the search for the unknown alive. Comment below and let me know, where are you watching this from? I want to see which corners of the world are witnessing this with me. This is a structured repeating electromagnetic pulse pulsing with precision emerging from a mysterious interstellar visitor now known as Three Eye Atlas. Each cycle lasts exactly 11.3 seconds and it repeats with clockwork accuracy every 47 minutes. Scientists initially thought it might be a glitch, a stray echo from satellites, maybe just interference bouncing through space. Uh, but as the hours passed, they realized this was no mistake. This was something alive with intent, a signal that seemed to carry a message meant to be understood. Now, as the observation continued, the pulse did something truly baffling. It grew stronger. Over just a few hours, its intensity rose by more than 300%, as if the very object itself were awakening, charging, preparing for something beyond our comprehension. NASA engineers checked their instruments again and again, ruling out every possible malfunction. SETI specialists scanned the data, searching for natural explanations, pulsars, quasars, even solar interference, and found nothing. There was only one undeniable truth. This was a coherent, structured communication emanating from something that might not even be a comet. And as the signal cycled again and again, repeating with perfect rhythm, scientists couldn't help but feel a chill, a sense that the universe had just sent its first deliberate message to humanity, and we were not ready to hear it. Three days after the first detection, something utterly unprecedented happened. The pulse, once steady and rhythmic, began to change its pattern, evolving in ways that left NASA scientists speechless. It was no longer a simple, uniform broadcast echoing through space. Instead, it became directional, a focused beam of energy. Aimed with extraordinary precision, trajectory analysis revealed something almost impossible. The signal was pointing directly at Earth. Every engineer, every astrophysicist on duty that night felt a mix of awe and unease. This was no random cosmic event. Something or someone was deliberately communicating with us, then came the shocking realization about its frequency. The transmission was not just random radio waves, it carried a signature at 1.42 gigahertz, the exact frequency of hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe. Astronomers call this the water hole, a silent, natural band in the cosmic spectrum where intelligent civilizations might choose to send messages Whoever sent this signal wasn't trying to hide. They wanted it to be understood. And the complexity was staggering. Within the repeating cycle, layers of subtle patterns flickered like a cosmic Morse code, nested and interwoven, some repeating every 1.7 seconds, others flashing in fractions of a second. It was as if the pulse contained an entire language far more sophisticated than anything humanity had ever encountered Cryptographers, AI researchers, and radio engineers were called in to decipher it, but no natural source could explain the structure. Every calculation, every cross-check against pulsars, solar activity, or known cosmic phenomena pointed to the same shocking conclusion. This was artificial, deliberate, and intelligent. By now, the halls of NASA were no longer filled with routine chatter. A quiet panic had begun to ripple through every control room, from Goldstone to Goddard. The signal from 3i Atlas was real, it was directional, 
and it was growing stronger with every passing hour. Normally, a discovery of this magnitude would spark press releases, interviews, global headlines, but this time there was only silence. No tweets, no statements, no official word, and that silence only made the mystery feel heavier, more urgent. Behind the closed doors, whispers circulated about the so called Discovery Protocol, a classified emergency framework NASA had created years ago after strange encounters like the Umu Mua flyby. It laid out strict steps, verify the data, alert government contacts then observe a 72-hour communication blackout before going public. The idea was to prevent panic and misinformation, but unofficially it bought time for the world's most powerful agencies to process the unthinkable, you know? And as the hours stretched into days, scientists began to consider three unsettling possibilities. The first, the benign hypothesis, perhaps 3i Atlas, was nothing more than an ancient probe. Silently carrying out a mission from a civilization long gone, a cosmic observer simply acknowledging our presence. The second, the warning hypothesis, maybe the timing of the signal just before the object's closest approach to the sun was deliberate. Its hollow interior could hold smaller units, probes ready to deploy while we couldn't see a message to humanity saying, do not interfere. Then there was the third scenario the one that chilled even the most rational minds, what if the signal was a test? A carefully orchestrated experiment designed to measure our reactions, our fear, our coordination, our very behavior in the face of the unknown? Because right now humanity's response had not been courage or curiosity, it had been silence, secrecy, and panic. And if something out there was watching, every pulse, every whisper, every cautious meeting was being recorded, Every reaction was data. As scientists across the globe dug deeper into the data, one truth began to emerge, one that no one wanted to admit out loud. 3i Atlas was not behaving like any comet or asteroid ever recorded. Its motion, its density, even its glow, none of it fit the laws of nature. What they were seeing looked engineered inside NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Late night meetings turned into sleepless vigils. The object's internal density didn't match solid rock. It was hollow, like a shell concealing something within. And then came the data that broke every rule of celestial mechanics. As 3i Atlas entered the solar system, it slowed down. That's right, slowed down. No comet or debris could ever do that without propulsion. Something inside it was controlling its movement guiding it with precision that rivaled our most advanced spacecraft is Kenneth's path was aligned almost perfectly with the ecliptic plane, the same flat disk where all our planets orbit. That kind of accuracy would make even the best human engineers sweat. And the closer it drew to the sun, the stranger its light became. Instruments detected green spectral emissions, chemical signatures unknown to science, glowing like coded signals across its metallic surface, the data analysts began layering the findings, connecting every anomaly, every odd pulse, every chemical trace, and what emerged defied explanation. The electromagnetic signal, the precise hydrogen fre frequency, the mathematical symmetry, the deliberate aim toward Earth, it all pointed to one conclusion that no one wanted to speak aloud. This wasn't a rock. It was a machine, a machine that had traveled across light years of space with purpose, a machine that had waited until now to announce its presence. And as it drew closer to the sun, as its signal grew sharper and more intricate, one question echoed through every lab, every observatory, Every silent command center across the planet, what is it preparing for? As October drew closer, the world held its breath. 3i Atlas was approaching its closest point to the sun, the moment astronomers call perihelion. Normally, this would be a routine calculation, predictable, unremarkable, but 3i Atlas had never been ordinary. The signal, once powerful and steady, began to change. It didn't fade. 
It compressed, condensing into faster, more intricate bursts. Each pulse carried layers of modulation, harmonics that sounded almost musical, or some said like mathematical poetry written across the cosmos. Even more unsettling, the object's velocity didn't behave as expected. A comet nearing the sun should accelerate, pulled by gravity's relentless hand. Yet this object slowed slightly, as if applying a reverse thrust, a subtle control that defied every natural law. Observatories in Chile, Hawaii, and Spain captured flickers of light along its surface, triangular shapes rotating in perfect sequence. To some scientists, it looked like a code being pl played out in real time, a silent language broadcast across light years. And then came the silence. For 72 hours, the signal vanished as three eye atlas slipped behind the sun. Normally, astronomers could predict an object's path with precision, but when it disappeared, it seemed to vanish with intention, leaving nothing, not even dust. Even the most sensitive deep space tracking systems found nothing where it had been. Yet during this blackout, a new and even, even stranger phenomenon occurred. A signal, identical in pulse pattern, appeared not from deep space, but from Earth's own upper atmosphere reflected back toward the sun. Was it an echo, a warning, or proof that whatever intelligence guided 3 eye Atlas had already arrived, silently observing humanity's reaction? The world waited, tense and uncertain, for the moment it would re-emerge and reveal its next move. After three long weeks, the moment arrived, 3 eye Atlas re-emerged from behind the sun, and astronomers across the globe watched with bated breath. But what they saw defied every expectation. It was not simply continuing along the predicted trajectory. Something had changed. The object had made a subtle, deliberate course correction. A movement so precise that it could only have been intentional. Every deep space antenna on Earth tracked it. Every telescope focused. Every sensor calibrated. Humanity was watching a machine in motion. And for the first time, it was clear that this was no ordinary visitor. The signal, which had been silent for weeks, returned, but it was transformed. Pulses arrived faster, sharper, and more intricate than ever, layered with patterns that some described as mathematical music, others as a language beyond comprehension. Every beam, every flash, every fluctuation seemed to convey meaning, a message encoded in light and frequency, aimed with precision across the void. Scientists realized something chilling. Whatever intelligence had sent 3 eye Atlas was not passive. It was observing, measuring humanity's reactions, testing how we respond to the unknown, recording our decisions, our fear, our curiosity. After three long weeks, the moment arrived. 3 eye Atlas re-emerged from behind the sun, and astronomers across the globe watched with bated breath. But what they saw defied every expectation. It was not simply continuing along the predicted trajectory. Something had changed. The object had made a subtle, deliberate course correction, a movement so precise that it could only have been intentional. Every deep space antenna on Earth tracked it. Every telescope focused. Every sensor calibrated. Humanity was watching a machine in motion. And for the first time, it was clear that this was no ordinary visitor. The signal, which had been silent for weeks, returned, but it was transformed. Pulses arrived faster, sharper, and more intricate than ever, layered with patterns that some described as mathematical music, others as a language beyond comprehension. Every beam, every flash, every fluctuation seemed to convey meaning, a message encoded in light and frequency, aimed with precision across the void, Scientists realized something chilling. Whatever intelligence had sent 3 eye Atlas was not passive. It was observing, measuring humanity's reactions, testing how we respond to the unknown, recording our decisions, our fear, our curiosity, and perhaps even our hesitation. The universe had not merely delivered a visitor. It had issued a challenge, a question that echoed across laboratories, control rooms, and observatories worldwide. What will we do next? 
Are we prepared for the answer? As the world watched, the tension was palpable. This was no longer a cosmic curiosity. It was an encounter that forced humanity to confront a terrifying, exhilarating possibility we were not alone, and Spain captured fleeting glimmers along its surface, triangular lights rotating in perfect sequence, almost like a communication protocol, a cosmic message written in geometry. Some scientists whispered that it resembled a code being played out in real time, each flash and rotation a signal from intelligence far beyond our own. And yet, the world remained mostly silent. Official agencies offered no statements. The discovery protocol had imposed secrecy, and the public only sensed the growing tension through whispers and leaks. But the quiet made the signal feel heavier, more urgent. Humanity was not merely observing a visitor. We were part of the experiment. Our reactions, our attention, our awe being measured, every heartbeat in control rooms, every whispered debate, every cautious calculation, it was all part of the data being collected by 3 i Atlas. And as the sun loomed, as perihelion approached, one thought echoed louder than any transmission. This was more than a message. It was a test, a challenge, a call to humanity itself, and the universe was waiting for our response. The deeper scientists looked at 3 i Atlas, the stranger it became, Every fragment of data, every pulse, every flicker told a story of design, not chance. Observatories noted its hollow structure, internal density inconsistent with solid rock, something no natural object could achieve, its trajectory almost impossibly aligned with the ecliptic plane, and its precision during the Mars flyby left scientists calculating the odds, a number so small it defied belief. This was intentional, a machine traveling across light years with purpose. Then came the green spectral emissions. Mysterious chemical signatures, no known element, could produce naturally. They glowed, pulsed, almost as if communicating visually alongside the electromagnetic message the layers of the signal grew more intricate. Nested patterns repeating with precision, harmonics within harmonics, a complex system of time and light that felt unity. It, even its motion continued to defy the rules of nature. It slowed when it should have accelerated, rotated lights along its surface in repeating triangular sequences, and adjusted its trajectory with a precision that no natural object could achieve. It was clear this was not a comet. This was an intelligent engineered machine observing us, studying our reactions, perhaps even judging us. Um, as the world watched in tense anticipation, the question became unavoidable. This was more than a visitor. It was a challenge, a test, and a call. The universe was asking silently but unmistakably, what will humanity do next? Are we prepared to respond? Or will we simply remain observers, watched and measured by forces far beyond our comprehension? And as three Iatlas approached the sun, ready to disappear behind the solar glare, one thing was certain. When it re-emerges, the answer, whatever it may be, will change humanity forever. Don't stop here, the universe is full of secrets waiting to be uncovered. Click on the next video and join us as we explore even more astonishing mysteries from the farthest reaches of space.